So here we are in the herbarium. You can see that all the cabinets are compressed. So you just swing the dial to open up to your specific family. And in this case, I'm trying to identify a plant from the base, the bean family. At the herbaria uh, are lists of families. And then you can go alphabetically to your family. The basic 152. Then each of the folders within the cabinets are arranged by countries. So you get the different colors uh, according to this map. So now to get to the Fabaceae. There are 7.9 million specimens in this collection. And you can see that you can get to them by looking at their individual family. So I predetermined my species as Acacia cookeye, and so this is the cabinet that I'll find it in. So finally we've arrived at Acacia, but it's not the species we need. We're in Mexico and Central America because this plant is from Belize, and so if we go down We can see Acacia con to cocci in Mexico and Central America. So we'll take that. Finally, once you have your specimens from the herbarium out, you can compare it to your own. First of all, you must use a, a systematic key such as the floor of Guatemala, which I'm using here, the electronic version on the right. And I've also got my database open that uh, explains all the medicinal uses of this uh, particular plant, the Acacia cookeye, aka Subin in common name. So once we look at the plant, you want to look at it sometimes under the dissecting microscope to understand the little bits and pieces, especially like uh, items on the leaves, items on the stem, and you can use this uh, botanical dictionary to help you understand those difficult Latin terms. Next what you want to do is compare your voucher to uh, the herbaria voucher, in this case. So as you flip through the specimens, you want to make sure that your sample looks like the represented sample in the herbarium. And you can notice that some of these date back, back as far as 1932, or in this case, 1908. And with just a little more reading from the taxonomy schedule, you can clearly identify your species and I presume this to be Acacia cookeye.